Hey Floss Tube, it's me, Hannah the Oki Stitcher here with another Floss Tube update. Today is Easter, so happy Easter. It's the 31st of March, 2024. Uh, life update, nothing new to report. I think I told you guys last week that it had finally been sent off days, like all my paperwork. And so now we're just waiting for everything to come back. Um, my shirt and I are watching it and up you know like inquiring on it on a frequent basis <laughs> people are probably getting tired of us but you know it's it's been delayed for over a month and a half like I don't know anyway running oh so I didn't get a chance to run during the week last week but I ran yesterday and I got three miles in which is pretty good I feel like it's pretty good and then I plan on running today as well, and I'm hoping that I can get better at my running that way. Running here in a week is really difficult, but I'm going to try to make more of an effort to do it. I just got to figure figure it out. Um, so yesterday I was cleaning and I came across some stuff that I thought that you guys might enjoy seeing. Um, now, they were in a binder that was all tore up, so I threw that one away. But this was my daughter's old binder. And look, Beanie Baby cards. Now, I'm not gonna bore you guys by going through all of them. But just know there's a lot. So. There's a lot. And. Um, it, when I was in fourth and fifth grade. I used to. If I got an A on my spelling test that week. I got a Beanie Baby card. So. Or not a Beanie Baby card. A Beanie Baby and then the, the cards were just something extra. But yeah, I was obsessed in the 90s with Beanie Babies. And then of course, you know, of course, as a 90s kid, I had Pokemon. Harry Potter, I think that's something that not everyone really did. But then look, Lion King. Do you guys remember these from the Happy Meals? They were either Burger King or McDonald's, but I think they were McDonald's. Aren't those awesome? Okay. So that's my memory lane treasure. And don't worry, I won't have those every week. It's just when I find something really cool that I'm like, oh, I gotta share that. I gotta share that. Um, I got a Lion King story for you. So when Lion King came out to theaters, it was, I was little. I don't know how little I was, but I was little enough to where, you know, like in school, like everyone lines up and goes to the bathroom on a schedule. So we were, we were going to the bathroom. We were all lined up and we were waiting for everyone to quiet down and no one was being quiet. And I stood there and I was like, I'm surrounded by idiots. And the student teacher that we had at that time looked at me like, I don't know if I'm supposed to punish you or not. <laughs> but she just kind of ignored it and she just was like, mm. So I don't think that, I'm assuming she hadn't seen Lion King at that point, but hopefully she got the reference after she watched the movie. Anyway, so I do have a couple of things to show you guys. 
I got So this is on 18 count Eda that I dyed myself. The floss is DMC two over one. So um, two strains over one box. I changed up the colors. The, the original called for colors on the Cross-Eyed Cricut collection pattern was very muted um and very dark so like very dark grays and i don't think it had any actual black but it was just very dark and i didn't like that because i think they were trying to go more amish and i wanted more prairie so so i changed up all the colors including the little quilt blocks up here this pattern was from 1984. And then the words are backstitch. It says, read a good book and God bless. And this is going to look a whole lot better once it's washed and ironed. But I don't think I ever told you guys how I dyed this fabric. As you can tell, it kind of has like a blue... Like, in real life, it looks like clouds. Like, it has a very soft modeling. So, I can't remember how exactly I came up with this. But, I got this. Um, so, this was just a scrap piece of fabric that I had laying around. I put it out on a cookie sheet. And I took a clean uh, SOS pad or a Brillo pad, whatever you want to call them, got it wet, and then I um, dotted it with the juices from the SOS, right? And I let it sit for over 24 hours, and then I put it in the washing machine because I didn't hand wash it. Um, whenever I hand dye stuff, I don't hand wash it afterwards. I put it in the washing machine by itself. I don't put soap or anything like that in there. I just let it rinse because I mean, it does the same thing. It's just more vigorous. So I did that and it came out this really pretty blue color and I thought it was very fitting for the little prairie girls. So sometimes if you're poor like me and you can't afford all the fancy dyed fabric, you have to get creative. Otherwise, you're just going to be stuck with either plain solid colors that you can get at Hobby Lobby, Michaels, whatever, or tea dye, coffee dye, whichever. And that gets boring after a while. And sometimes you don't want a very, like a really pretty pattern to go on something plain like that or like the the coffee and tea doesn't really match some of the patterns so you know you got to get creative so I encourage all of you guys to get creative especially if you can't afford the the fancy stuff okay now we got the Call the Midwife piece, and I only stitch this on Sunday night so when I'm watching Call the Midwife season 13 as it airs. And last week I did Poplar. So this is coming together really quickly, this last little bit. So that border is very boring. So what I'm doing is one strand border. And as you can tell, they're really long strands. So one strand border and then one strand a word or at least a letter. And then that way it's back and forth and I'm not as bored. Because I don't want to do all the wording, all the fun stuff and then And be bored and knowing me I just won't do it 
Well, I will. It'll just take forever. So, there's that. Next one is... I have two... Technically two new stars, but it's the same thing. It's a duplicate. Um, these are belated. But they're going to be little ornaments or maybe like little pillows. They might be little pillows for my daughters. And these are gonna, just going to be little keepsakes that they can display every year. I don't have all the colors, so I am hoping to get to Hobby Lobby at some point this week to get the rest of them to finish it, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll get to or not. We'll see. Hobby Lobby's kind of a drive for me. So, but it, um, it has Santa wearing a mask. So it's definitely very fitting. And then the last one that I have is the Little Mermaid that I've been working on. So... I wish I had enough storage on my phone to tell you guys, or not tell you guys, but put in a picture of where it was. But if you go to Instagram, you'll be able to see it. What I worked on this week was the hair over here. So, I... I'm working on filling this in. That's going to be my thing next week. I would like to just kind of like from he from like this corner up and over in this bow. I like to complete the boxes. Like, I, I just have a thing where, like, I like the clean box look. Like, but isn't it cute? So. So, yeah. Now... I know sometimes people get bored with uh, with looking at these kids, but because sometimes they can be a little difficult to see on camera, I will give people that. Um, tax time, I had a little extra money, and so I bought some fabric. I know I just literally had a whole spiel about not being able to afford fabric, right? Okay. It's a special situation. I am gonna be making stockings. And so I wanted something really special. And it was like, you know, tax time after all the bills were paid. So, so I can't wait. Um, I got the shipping notice Friday so I should have those this week and I can show you guys next week. Um, oh, but since today is the first, or not the first, the last day of March, I wanted to show you my layout and my book of days for March. So... Mm, I don't know if that's better or worse. 
but on the on the third I had started that pray girl one and I I didn't put it on here. Oh yeah, I did. I finished it last Sunday, so it's right here. And then of course, all my floss tubes I'm putting on here and who I'm talking about, which I don't have anyone this week. I, I'm just underprepared. Cause like I know people, but when I talk about people, like I want to have like all the details. So like when I take, when I watch videos, I take notes. I know that sounds creepy, but it's because I want to do it justice when I talk about people. I don't want to just sit here and blunder my way through it. On the 12th, I went to the World War One Museum and I got this sticker. And then this is my finish. That's the pattern that I use. And then when I was finishing it, I watched Rose Red, Stephen King movie. And then these stickers are from when we used to traditionally homeschool my daughters. Um, the curriculum had these little stickers. That's like their little mascot animals. And so it was the closest thing to spring that I had. And it's done. The only other thing is I might go back and put my runs in. That way I can start keeping track of my runs. But other than that, it's done. So yeah. That's what I like to do with my book of days is I like to keep like picture record of, of what I'm doing. All right. Well, I think that is it for me today. I am going to finish my coffee, get some breakfast and get back to cleaning and hopefully get a run in. I should get a run in today. Okay. Well, again, happy Easter. Enjoy your family. Regardless if you celebrate or not, TTFN, ta-ta for now.